Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to how to make the wub wub sound in FL Studio 10. And this sound is typically used in dubstep, in electro house, uh, drum and bass, and uh, it's that really gritty, that that really nasty um, bass line or synthesizer in that crazy underground music. Okay, so first off, what we're going to need to do is, uh, we're going to need a synthesizer and we're going to use Citrus. So I'm just going to go here to Channels, and add one, and then you can find Citrus at the bottom. Very bottom. Oh, there we go. Alright. So, right now the default is a string sound, and we can't, we can't use that sound, so we're going to have to change that. And, uh... I'm gonna create my own here. I'm gonna just go to these boxes and then uh, go to default right at the top. Um, later on, you'll see that I I actually made my own category for the wub wub sounds. But for now, we're just gonna use some dubs. I mean, not dubstep, the default sound. Okay, so this is what it sounds like now. It's just a typical uh, sine wave, and uh, we can't really use that sound. See when it's down low in the in the bass sound, it doesn't sound not it's not quite there. Um, we're gonna have to change this. We're gonna go to the operator one, and we're gonna mess around with these faders, and uh, that just typically changes the waveform. And we're gonna need something around actually anything other than the sine wave. Use a triangle wave, square. Um, let me just move this up. Let me show you here. See, there's a square wave. Uh, not so square wave, I guess, and uh, anything but the sine wave will work. The more higher harmonics you have, the nicer the sound will sound like, actually. So this is not too bad either. This, this sounds cool, so it's almost there. Sounds like it's back in uh, Nintendo days. Alright, next we need to uh, use these, the matrix here. I'm going to take out that knob there. And we're going to work on our filter section. Oh, and I'm just going to turn that all the way up and put the out all the way up. So I'm going to go category, the filter category. And what we need to do here now is go into our cut. Uh, tab and then mess around with the LFO. This is the number one rule. And we're going to delete these points here that one and this one. Put this all the way to the left and to the top and drag them with that one to the bottom. And in order for this to work, we need to turn the light on right there and turn the tempo on right there. So when I control the speed knob, it locks to the tempo of my song. Whether it be quarter notes, eighth notes, sixty-four notes, uh, whatever the case may be. What I like to do is I like to link it to my MIDI controller, as you can see here. Uh, what I did is just right-click the knob, and I clicked Link to Controller, and I just move the modulation wheel on my MIDI keyboard. Typically, though, we're gonna have to automate this. Um, you can just right-click and automate, and it'll send you to the playlist. Yep, so this style of music, you kind of want to fluctuate between different speeds. Uh, when you automate, um, it doesn't really matter what if you have the tempo on. I just use it for now, so that when I'm scrolling, I can see the different speeds and stuff like that. So the next thing we here, we need to change the tension. Um, I like to have that that sort of square kind of thing happening or a distorted sine wave if you want to call it and uh, it just gives that more intense cutoff for that wub wub sound check this out so this is our our uh, our root of the wub wub sound and uh, you know sometimes this might work for your song it doesn't matter there are no rules to uh, getting that correct wub wub sound you can be creative, do whatever you like. Right 
right? There's no there's no rules to this. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do here. Um, back to uh, the matrix. I'm gonna take. Uh, let me show you. I'm gonna take this waveform. I'm gonna take this waveform right here. And I'm gonna feed it into itself using this knob. And just gonna turn it all the way up. Let's see how it gets more harsh. Now it's just uh, you just basically do this to taste, and uh, I usually kind of keep it at around two, three o'clock. Okay, so these are uh, the few things that you can do. I'm gonna leave the rest up to you to fool around. Um, just remember that citrus has no limits; like you can do pretty much anything you can imagine. So right now I'm gonna show you these uh, presets that I made, that I will make available on the FL forum. I should uh, be more active on that forum, but I'm not. So I will now and supply you guys with some free presets, some uh, drums, and you know all these cool things. So that we can get creative and uh, make some good music. So this uh, next, this is my next wub wub sound. Well, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just using the matrix really to get my sound. This is more of a square wave wub wub type sound here's my next one my fourth one make some good dance music with this I'm pretty sure the next uh, singles out there 2011 will be uh, wub wub Maybe even 212. Alright guys, well that's it for the uh, Wub Wub tutorial. Um, like I said, I want to leave the rest up to you so you guys can uh, get creative with it and create your own patches. And uh, remember, you don't need to uh, create the Wub Wub sound for dubstep, for, de for Electro House. Uh, in this case here, I'm using it in an R&B slow jam. So remember, fuse your fuse your styles, fuse your genres, uh, get creative and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm Dan D from MusicMarketing.ca, and thanks for watching and tuning in to how to create the Wub Wub sound in FL Studio 10 with Citrus. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.